And we continue on with Stealth and Mermaid Wars. If you see something like this, right, with your own eyes, what be the first thing that they tell you? It's an optical illusion. It's not what you think. It's your eyes playing tricks on you. It's your mind playing tricks on you. Sometimes, like, it's possible for that to happen. But when you see something like this and you feel it in your gut that something's off and it is not what they want you to believe it to be, go with it. Because one thing I've known about... Uh, life is that we all have like these these feelings in our guts about things being real and things being fake and we can always tell when things are real when there's this like this feeling in our gut at the time you know what i'm saying but uh the matrix the simulation that we in it does have like glitches and certain things that just fall out of place and depending on how um if, a, if a, it depends on if the person is distracted enough not to watch or not to figure it out or not to see it. If a person is too distracted by, uh, say, video games, movies, TVs, uh, magazines, work, uh, bills, you know, rent and all that, you're too distracted to pay attention to what surrounds you, you ain't going to be able to see stuff like this. But when you see something like this, the first thing they're going to tell you is it's an optical illusion. And more stealth like i said this reminds me of the philadelphia experiment when they tried to make the boat vanish not to be detected in radar but instead the boat went into another dimension boat it's a ship but the ship went into another dimension and came back into this dimension with the sailors embedded in the floors and in the walls and it's in a movie called the philadelphia experiment if you ain't seen or heard of that movie go check it out because that is one of the movies that hollywood hates the most it has too much truth in it and this is what i think it is, this is instead this ain't got nothing to do with you no know, trying to be invisible but rather floating over water you know and let me see here <clears throat> okay so like the mermaid wars and like this is stealth again like the mermaid wars why would if there's ships and everything being attacked by mermaids and we do have about what three million shipwrecks at the bottom of the ocean there's there's about three million shipwrecks plus uh more canoes that were uh, about 10,000 years old that are at the bottom of the ocean as well. And there's this war going on that they ain't telling the people. Why Why you think they want their ships to float over the water, bro? Remember uh, Blackbeard, one of the most ruthless pirates of the seas? Dude wasn't afraid of nothing, man. He wasn't afraid of nothing. The only thing that Blackbeard feared was mermaids. That was the only thing. Because while on the ocean, they were singing to his shipmates. And when they were singing to the shipmates, the shipmates were jumping overboard, bro. Never to be seen again. Never to be heard from again. Like, they just gone. And that made Blackbeard fear them. Because they were man-eaters. That's what he called them. Man-eaters. Mermaids. At first, you know... When I was a kid, I always thought, you know, mermaids were a myth, you know, it's just something. But like I said, Hollywood, how they work, they they get all their ideas from real life, like things in real life, bro. They really do. It's not a joke. I wish it was. I really do. But no, it's not a joke. They're man eaters. They sing. They lure their victims to the waters, bro. And when they get you, like I said, they'll drag you down so fast into the ocean that by the time you reach the bottom, it's already too late. You dead. By the time your body reaches a certain part of the ocean, the pressure of the water causes your body to explode. They'll eat you, use your bones for weapons and jewelry. They sing so good. And I also hear that mermaids have magical powers to where they can walk out the water. And instead of having a fin or you know, a tail fin, they, they, they have legs instead. And it makes me wonder. This is just a theory. But it makes me wonder about the celebrities. Because the celebrities come out of the blue with, these, with the voices and the songs. And the songs and the voices seem to capture the audience so quick like that and nobody ever realizes it like oh my god this person just comes out the damn blue and just oh i just love this person so much and i'm just sitting back like mm-hmm yeah 
But yeah, that's this is my theory, man. You know, what if celebrities are mermaids? We never know. You know, the celebrities can be all kinds of things, all kinds of things, because they are definitely well overpaid for the shit that they do. And this is, this is just fucking weird. But this is the world that we live in. Yeah, like I said, you ever seen a movie called The Lure? 2015, man. These two mermaids came out the water and they had legs at first. But when they poured water on them, then their fin, their uh, tail fins started to show. And they sung so good that the audience loved them, and, and their singing caught, captured the audience. This is some crazy shit. Because it goes on. It goes on and on. Movies, like they say, mermaids. Mom is many things. Normal isn't one of them. Mermaids. I don't know how long this war been going on. But all I do know is that these mermaids, they don't like us. The government don't like them. And there's just this big ass war, man. And that's why I'm saying like, that's why so many shipwrecks. That's why the government's dropping oil and trash and all kinds of other shit into the ocean trying to kill these things. But they can't kill them. If you kill a mermaid, you can't kill a mermaid, man. A mermaid, con mermaids control fish. They control all ocean life. They used to be looked at as gods way, way long, long, long ago. They used to be looked at as gods. You can't kill mermaids because mermaids, if you kill a mermaid, you kill the fish. You kill the fish, you kill mankind. Mankind ain't going to survive without that that without that, uh, that chain, that link of life. You feel what I'm saying? And then, like, here, here's another part of the war that people, that's just, it, this part got swept under the rug so fast. Completely unexpected, never before seen species of chlamydia dropped into the arctic ocean why well i'm not gonna mention who did it but y'all know who did this but why what the polar bears do to us what did the penguins do to us why would this be dropped into the arctic ocean they said they discovered this in the arctic ocean no they didn't it's a lie they dropped this shit into the arctic ocean here's why an international team of researchers have now discovered diverse populations of abundant chlamydia living in deep Arctic Ocean sediments. They live under oxygen devoid conditions, high pressure, and without an apparent host organism. Remember this word. Remember these words. High pressure. High pressure of the water, bro. Remember, people can't get to this city, this underwater, underwater city and under, underwater town, whatever you want to call it without exploding so they invent a uh, chlamydia that can swim in the oceans and survive you know oxygen devoid conditions and high pressure it gets through the high pressure to make it you know what i'm saying it's put the pieces together it, it, it'll fit perfect bro i swear on my life high pressure man the only way to get to the very bottom of the ocean which the governments claim they have yet to discover is through high pressure you can't get through it get through can't get through the high pressure but they dropped that shit in the ocean man it's a fucking war kev on stage covered it the arctic ocean has chlamydia look at this poor polar bear man look at this polar bear polar bear's like what the fuck yeah man getting all the all that stuff on them man. it's 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 sad yo it's fucking sad. And people, even if the mermaids are evil, people are just as evil. Look at all the shit they're doing to the world, man. They fucked this world up. Viruses and diseases all over the fucking place, man. All these weird ass animal creatures that suppose that's just coming out left and right. Who be covering that? Patrick Cloud, man. He covers that shit. Look, he even covered that. The Arctic Ocean has, yeah, chlamydia, STD for the pink. But every, every, man. I like Patrick Cloud, man. Patrick Cloud, man. I watch his channel all the time. And I be seeing the stuff he talks about. He be coming out with these videos about there is a new insect out right now. And there is a new bird. Like, God is just coming with all these mixtapes of different species. Like, no, nah, bro. It's not. It's not the most high that's creating these animals, these creatures that look so crazy, bro. It's, it's, it's they're scientists. These creatures are created in labs, yo. They're killing off the most highest creatures and replacing them with their own. They're playing God, pretty much. But yeah, I just wanted to get this out here, man. Like, there's this unseen war that people don't know about. And with three million shipwrecks at the bottom of the ocean, 
that makes me wonder about the Titanic. Did the Titanic really hit an iceberg or was the Titanic attacked by a society of underwater beings who didn't want them in their territory? Come on, man. And it's crazy. This is just crazy. I, I once heard that uh, theories are the beginning of solutions. So I, I was happy to hear that. I heard that yesterday. Pretty cool. But yeah, man, check, the movies and everything that they that they make, it, it's, it's all based on real life shit. Everything. It's just crazy, man. This world is nuts. The Heavenly Father is always the truth, man. Baruch Shai, out.